all your time. Yeah! So I don't care what the rest of the world thinks of this film. I just want you guys to like it. So. Um, you know, I want to thank all you guys for praying for the weather and coming out tonight. Um, I want to thank everyone at ESPN, Aaron Lydon, uh, Maria Delgado, Jen Sigari, uh, my co-director, Maura Mann, who's not here tonight. But without her, none of this would be possible. I would not be here tonight without her. Um, I want to thank my colleagues at Maggie Vision Productions, Anthony Bain, Matt Arden, Gina Paradiso, Damian Mardell, Nick, Nick Franazan, and I want to thank Grant Babbitt as well. Yeah. Um, I want to thank Shan Zinger, Nicole Corcoran, Bill Self, everyone at Rock Chalk Video, everyone at the Spencer Research Library. All that great archival stuff was from them. And so, yeah, uh, Letha Johnson, Becky Schulte. Um, I want to thank my parents and my family for their love and support. Uh, my, my, my grandmother is sitting right there. Um, Uh, let's see. Right now, I'd like to call up the guy who uh, I'm very proud to call my friend. Um, you guys know what he did for this film, for this project. Dr. Mark Allen, where you at? So uh, she 
comes into the living room and says, so you want to talk to us about buying the rules? And at that point, I, I really explained that Fogg and Naismith and their role and their history together, and then the importance to Lawrence, Kansas. And for David to grow up on 1931 Naismith Drive, and to have the rules signed June 28, 1931, James Naismith, uh, was really kind of remarkable and, and somewhat uh, beyond uh, Lock and chance, it, it just it had to happen, it had to come into his hands. Finally, um, my wife Lou, uh, who without a doubt this would probably not happen, and only David and Suzanne could answer that with certainty, but I, I wouldn't have been in Austin had she not listened to Kevin Keatsman's show. Now she's, uh, I don't know why she listens to Keatsman. <laughs> So she caught the last 30 seconds of this clip, and, and it's um, basically, thanks Josh for telling us about the rules of basketball, and here's a website. So she writes it down, and of course she says, you know, Josh, we're eager to help, and I, I'm married to Fog Allen's grandson, and she hadn't told me this yet. So <laughs> I come into the home, and I'm tired, and Josh Swade is on the phone, he's from New York, he wants to talk to you. I said, what, what is this about? You know, well, it's about the rules of basketball, I'm like, ah, oh, gee. I was really not excited, and I was less than charitable to Josh, and I'm publicly apologizing for this conversation because I just thought, this is insane. We got, what, 10, 12 days to pull this thing off, and, and uh, it wasn't going to happen, but it, at least in my mind. And so Josh's pers persuasive nature changed, and Lou is the one that insisted I go to Austin. The miracle of Southwest Airlines is that there's no fee for changing your flight, so it was easy to get to Austin, and they had a flight to Fort Lauderdale, it was perfect, and I stood, uh, and I had dinner with the booths, and then breakfast, and talked with them, and I, I felt, eh, maybe 55, 45, I wasn't sure, but I knew I had to make that phone call, and I wasn't sure if, you know, Bill would answer the phone, but uh, through the grace of God, he picked it up, and I said, hey, I'm standing in David Booth's backyard, and the rules are going to auction tomorrow, and no one at Kate has done anything. What, uh, what should we do? I mean, are you interested? Just And he said, yeah, of course, yeah. So he, fortunately, Bill can recruit anybody she knows. So he recruited David. He's very grateful. And the Allen family is very grateful. But generally, the two main players in this improbable story is Josh and David. And, and uh, Josh, we certainly thank you. The Allen family thanks you. And Stu Kate thanks you. Woo! He had the courage and never gave up when the odds looked poor. And for David, I, I can't thank you uh, enough, and for Suzanne for taking me into your home and to become very good friends. Um, what you have done for KU basketball is incredible. It is the most important uh, memorabilia item in basketball. It's the only game where somebody really sat down and wrote the rules out. So. For that, uh, we are forever grateful, all KU fans. Thank you all so much. Um, so now I'd like to call up Mr. David Booth and his wife, Suzanne Gilbert. Suzanne's generosity will be cherished by us, by Kansas Jayhawk fans. As long as we're alive, it'll be cherished by our kids, by their kids' kids. I mean, this is going to go on forever. They didn't 
just protect James Naismith's legacy at KU, but they, they cemented the greatest basketball tradition there is. Yeah. And, and for that, we will never be able to thank them. But I, I, I called the mayor because there's something that, that cities and towns do sometimes to try to thank people. So I'm going to hand it over to the mayor, and his wife is here too, Sandra. So, Mr. Mayor, you got something to say? Thank you, Josh. First of all, uh, you might think that uh, our costumes are a little bit uh, different than what you're wearing tonight, but uh, earlier this evening we were held up uh, at the First National Bank at 8th and Mass in a Bonnie and Clyde reenactment. <laughs> we, we, we didn't quite have time to go home and change. So, <laughs> hey, you know, this is Lawrence. We have a lot of fun here, folks. <laughs>